talks between U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif to resolve the decade-long running dispute over the Islamic Republic's nuclear program have been described as constructive, even though no specific decision was made. Iran and Western states plan to hold further talks in Switzerland next month. We had a uh, constructive uh, meeting, uh, and I think all of us were pleased that Foreign Minister Zarif came and made a presentation to us which was very different in tone uh, and very different in the vision that he held out with respect to the possibilities of the future. The talks followed a meeting between Iran and six major powers about Tehran's nuclear program, which the United States and its allies suspect is trying to develop nuclear weapons. Iran denies all accusations, saying its program is only intended for peaceful aims. Both representatives were satisfied with the meeting and said possibilities have been placed on the table, but emphasized that there is still a long way to go. Needless to say, one meeting and a change in tone, uh, which was welcome, uh, doesn't answer those questions yet, and there's a lot of work to be done. Discussions were very substantive, uh, businesslike. Uh, we hope to be able to make progress towards uh, resolving this issue uh, in a timely fashion uh, based on respecting the rights of the Iranian people to nuclear technology for peaceful purposes, including enrichment, and at the same time making sure that there is no concern at the international level uh, that Iran's nuclear program is anything but peaceful. Recently elected Iranian President Hassan Rouhani told the UN on the 26th of September that possession of nuclear weapons cannot be tolerated. Even though Rouhani's moderate views have inspired hope that relations between the West and Iran might improve, the U.S. is insisting that the Iranian president must back up his speech with actions that verify Iran is not seeking to develop nuclear weapons.